Uh, so happy to be here uh, with everyone. I hope everyone can hear me okay, see me okay. Um, and uh, oh yeah, so where should I start? Uh, my start in crypto. Well, I mean, my start in crypto was sort of the start of crypto. Uh, back in 2010, a, a good friend of mine uh, who knew sort of my predilection for uh, wild software architecture sent me the um, uh, the Bitcoin white paper uh, by Satoshi and. Um, I read that thing and, and it, well, frankly, it blew my mind. This idea that we can create um, a trustworthy software system from completely untrustworthy uh, components um, with no central coordinating server, with no, um, you know, sort of formal, um, uh, you know, governance and, and, and coordination, uh, just a bunch of, you know, a hive mind coming together um, and then running a system that we could trust with money. Um, you know, sort of, you know, maybe not the most complex uh, software uh, uh, application, but certainly one of the software applications that requires the most security. Um, and so that, I mean, that absolutely blew my mind. Um, I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of slept on Bitcoin um, for, uh, for you know, the next six years um, uh, until Ethereum came out and, and it became something that was programmable, a computer that you could uh, put software in. Um, and, and of course, in 2017, um, my mind was blown again because uh, here was that same uh, trust model with a bunch of untrustworthy participants creating a trusted um, entity. Um, uh, but now it was a program, uh, programmable computer. And so, um, you know, and obviously that that led to CryptoKitties eventually. So, um, yeah, very, uh, very excited, uh, uh, very exciting technology. And it, it really blew my mind. Um, and the idea that 10 years later, I'd be a part of a team building such a system uh, I really never crossed my mind back then. So um, it's it's a real pleasure to be here and to see all these folks, um, uh, all of you listening, uh, participating in, in this uh, this amazing experiment that Satoshi started for us. Um, so um, I think, am I am I supposed to click? You should be able to, there we go. Yeah, it should let you. Oh, there we go. Look, see Bitcoin mining. <laughs> Somebody found a Bitcoin mining image. I guarantee you the computer I did Bitcoin mining on in 2010 did not look like this. Um, it was literally a, a, a Linux, a cheap Linux box that was in my closet and that my uh, um, we mostly used for uh, downloading MP3s. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, and uh, yeah, we run a Bitcoin miner on there for uh, for a while in 2010. Um, so. Uh, Welcome. I mean, what else can I say? Welcome, everyone. And and I want to be really clear when I say everyone. I want to focus on the on the on the everyone as much as uh, as the welcome. Um, you know, the 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 variety of people who are in this ecosystem and and who can I only assume are represented in all of the people attending right now is truly remarkable. You know, we have you know builders and artists and and entrepreneurs we have investors and speculators and dgens we have um you know we have we have collectors and traders it's it's just incredible the variety of people that are uh, a part of this ecosystem and and that's by design um you know the whole point of flow the whole point of a programmable decentralized system is is that it is a it is a very powerful blank canvas that anybody can access um, and no one controls access to, um, but everyone can trust. And and so, um, you know, thanks to everyone for being here. And, um, and, and I think the most important aspect of Flow that I'm so proud of is that interoperability aspect. Um, and so whenever one of you does something, you are synergizing with everyone else doing things. And so the more diversity we have in um, in our user base and our developer base, um, the 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 greater uh, power we have as a whole, and and it's so exciting to see that. Um, you know, here's the here's the logo salad of, of people building um, on our ecosystem. Um, you know, these are all amazing teams from you know folks who launched on Flow, and and you know that was sort of the, their first whisper into the world to people who whose names are are globally recognized. Um, and you know we're we're proud for everyone in each and every one of these teams uh, building here. So, so why are we here, right? Why why are we here? Um, I, I think writ large. We're here because we see the power of this technology um, beyond currency, right? Like currency is the thing that started, you know, going back to my Bitcoin days, currency is something that is built into the infrastructure of flow. 
But that's where this technology starts and it should never have been the mindset that this is where the technology needs to end. Um, and so, um, you know, we are constantly pushing um, the, you know, as, a, as an ecosystem, constantly talking about what are new ways that we can um, open up flow to new builders, um, what are new features we can add. And, and I'm so excited today because we're going to be talking about uh, a new release coming up that is going to really open the doors to um, a bunch of uh, of people and, and potentially use cases that we haven't seen before. Um, and, uh, you know, crypto deserves to be so much more than it is today. Um, and and we think that Flow is the absolute blessed platform for it. And I hope I speak for most of you uh, in saying that and not just uh, the folks I work with uh, locally. Um, but first, thank you. Um, a decentralized system is nothing without a group of decentralized participants. And so, um, you know, just the uh, everyone who's here and, and all of those walks that I mentioned, and, and if any of you uh, weren't uh, feel like you're in a role in our ecosystem that wasn't mentioned, um, I apologize, but you're welcome to. And 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 I want to thank you personally for, you know, this vision that we had uh, early on at Dapper Labs is now so much bigger um, than uh, what one company could ever be. Um, and this ecosystem humbles me immensely, um, and I'm so uh, proud to be a part of it. I have an announcement. I am now full-time flow. Um, this is an announcement that doesn't, you know, it, it's not, it's a little bittersweet um, because of course being full-time flow means I have, um, I've left my position at Dapper Labs. Um, you know, the uh, the the one startup that I uh, co-founded um, and, and, and I've stepped away from it. I'm incredibly proud of that team, incredibly happy with all of the things that that we built there, and 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 really excited about the leadership there. Um, uh, you know, uh, who who you know the technical leadership there has been there from the beginning, and I've worked hand in hand with those people, and I absolutely trust them to continue on with those amazing products. But um, the reality is, is that um, you know, as time went on, I was focusing more and more on flow, and the reality is, is that I need to be full-time flow. I want to be full-time flow. And I, and I, I like to think that uh, having me full-time on flow is going to be good for the ecosystem and indeed even good for Dapper Labs. And so um, I, I've resigned from Dapper Labs. I am, I've joined uh, the Flow Foundation um, and I'm not the only one. In fact, uh, we have the, um, uh, the entire team of builders that, you know, bootstrapped Flow and, and have been continuing to work on Flow, um, they will be moving over to the Flow Foundation. Um, most of them are there already. Um, and, uh, and there's some administration that I shouldn't even mention um, that uh, needs to happen for some of the others. But the all of the people that you think of as building Flow um, uh, that, you know, you previously maybe associated with Dapper Labs, they will be employees of the Flow Foundation. Um, and... You know, it's it's going to be an independent organization with independent governance. Um, you know, we've got uh, we've got the funds to pay salaries. We've got the tokens to give grants. Like it, the Flow Foundation is is really well set up to be a, a steward of this ecosystem, to be a, a nexus for coordination in this ecosystem. Um, and uh, we really want to make sure that um, everyone uh, understands that we're here to to serve all of you. Um, so, looking forward to today's presentation. Um, we're going to have Sean, and he's going to talk a little bit about what 2013 looked like. Uh, it was an amazing year. Um, I originally wanted to steal some of his thunder and give some high-level stats, but um, uh, in the end, uh, we left it all for him. Um, Chirag is going to talk about uh, working groups. Um, this is hopefully one of the, the things you'll feel um, in the Move to Flow Foundation and, and not just see, um, which is uh, really a, a community-organized uh, prioritization and um, and uh, you know coordinated execution um, on future uh, improvements to the protocol. Um, uh, Roham is going to come in. Um, you know, of course, he's still at Dapper Labs, um, and he's going to talk about. Um, uh, oh my God, I can't believe I missed the most important thing: the Crescendo release. This is the new software release that's coming out today. Some of you may have heard that term. Some of you may not have. Um, but we've got a giant network upgrade coming in the middle of the in the middle of the year. Um, and uh, again, I'm not going to steal uh, Trog's Thunder, but there are some amazing features that are coming. Um, and then, of course, we have Roham for Dapper Labs, who's going to talk about, um, you know, how he sees that playing out uh, for app builders um, and the ecosystem generally. Um, and then we get a, a, a wonderful treat. Um, I get to hear Alex talk about um, 
uh, smart things uh, weekly, and the rest of you don't get it very much. But Alex is going to talk about modular blockchains. Um, it's going to be nerdy. It's going to be in depth. So if you are like me and into engineering details, make sure you go to the bathroom before he talks. And if you're a little bit more on the um, uh, you know the user end or the business side, you know maybe you want to see that as your opportunity to jump out. But um, don't sleep on Alex. Um, he, he's a he's a great presenter and he doesn't shy away from the technical details. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then uh, Luke, who who kicked us off, is going to jump back in again um, and wrap us up and talk um, and do a bunch of presentations from uh, a variety of community partners. Um, and uh, people building on Flow uh, who have uh, messages uh, for the ecosystem. So um, I see here we've got floats today, which is awesome. Um, I, um, uh, if you uh, scan that QR code, um, you can get your uh, proof of, uh, of attendance today and uh, keep that as a, a reminder um, because five years from now, I think uh, people will be impressed to find out that you were one of the the folks early in this ecosystem. Um, and so I think with that, I will hand it off to Sean.